Hi there everybody, Peter of England here bringing you an update concerning a previous video that I posted around about uh, two weeks ago now. Um, it's particularly addressed to those of you who are picking up these, uh, these video posts in the United States of America and that's because the previous video that I did uh, was concerning the 21 trillion United States dollars that was parked, um, as I would say, quite uh, conveniently in the Department of Defense uh, budget, which I suspect is something to help clear the United States debt when the potential up-and-coming jubilee is announced uh, within the next few, few weeks. Um, it could be as early as the 18th of March because there's quite a lot going on at the moment. Um, if you actually follow what the Trump administration are looking to do at the moment, uh, it looks like the Pfizer uh, declassification documents are going to be released within the next, uh, shall we say, 18 days. Uh, what that does, it takes us around about the 19th or 20th of March, and by that time, uh, if this does come to pass, what it means is the entire entourage of people like James Comey, uh, Schiff's, the Obamas, the Clintons, uh, Pelosi, Maxine Waters, uh, Senator Blumenthal, um, Chuck Schumer, uh, the United uh, Kingdom government, MI6, are all going to be implicated in the uh, the fourth collusion that was not done on behalf of Donald Trump, which in fact was done by Hillary Clinton and the Democratic Party in the United States. So, what I'm saying is that there's a lot of information that's going to be coming your way. It's going to be coming to you very soon. And what I'm like, to, what I want to emphasise to you here, uh, for those of you who have not heard of We Are Bank, this is a, a bank that was formed. 2011 and launched officially in the United Kingdom in March 2015, uh, WearBank was placed in a position way back then uh, to help and assist in any potential jubilee, reset or debt eradication program that was going to be initiated by a government of the world. Whichever government that was going to be uh, was at those days up for grabs. But it looks like, quite conveniently, that the baton has been picked up by Donald Trump, the military organization in America, the Department of Defense, and there's a very good chance that this is going to run to its conclusion. So, this video today is giving you a heads up, particularly for those people in the United States. Um, it's a heads up, but it's a heads up to say, at the moment, don't do anything apart from have a look at the email link below and if you are interested in uh, uh, facilitating access to this this potential then all I'd ask you to do initially is to send an email saying I'm in or words to that effect keep it very short all we need is your email address and send that to peter at wearebank.co.uk wearebank W E R E, wearebank.co.uk. The link is down below, so please just follow that if you are unsure on the spelling. Now, I made some notes here um, just really to emphasize the fact that since Wearebank was created, many people have stated on the internet, and if you type in Wearebank, the same type of reaction uh, to. The, the Trump administration's uh, efforts to change politics, to change economics, to change the financial uh, structure of the planet are all met with the same type of ridicule and derisive fake news that the likes of CNN, BBC particularly in our case in the United Kingdom, had rained upon them and that is just accusations of worthless statements which totally ignored on every occasion the facts. And so what you must understand is that the fake news media from the BBC, Sky News, CNN, the Washington Post, New York Times, all the media in the United Kingdom like The Independent, The Times, The Economist, all these media operations are controlled by the same 4 a.m. briefing slots that get pushed out every day to the likes of the Schumers, the Pelosi's, the 
the Brexit uh, people, um, and I, by I mean that those people who are in opposition to it or in favour of it, so that there is a, a strap line for the day's news. So what happened in effect is we a bank suffered initially from the fact that too many people came on board um, and as a result we were overwhelmed by the response. When the mainstream media then got hold of it, they tried to pollute the message and discourage people with the fake news and the accusations. However, to this date, we are now through into March 2019, not one official court or criminal investigation has been brought against Weir Bank. Nobody has been taken to court. If it was fake, if it was fraudulent, Weir Bank's website would not still be there on the internet. So please go and have a look at it if you're not aware of it. I would still not be able to do what I have been doing and advocating to you from, from day one with this project and that is to become your own banker and for us to help you to free yourself from this, this debt burden that has been put around the necks of every single one of you in the United States and globally. So this was the initiative, this was what it was designed to do and the future will prove the past. All of those who said that it would not last, that it could not last, that it was fake, that it was a scam, that it was nothing more than a money-spinning uh, uh, idea of a con man. All the same accusations that are thrown against any party or anyone that's attributable with allegiance to the uh, Republican Party, the Trump administration in the United States, and anyone that challenges the status quo. So, what I'm suggesting is don't do anything for the moment. Send the email, that's all, to the email link below so that you can register your interest because what we are doing, we are beginning to work with the Trump administration. We are going to be work, working with the Department of Defense, the Paymaster General, um, the Inspector General with a view to putting in a series of voucher or coupon systems not too dissimilar from what we have here, which hopefully you can get an idea of. And these will be produced in a manner that we can deliver them to you and then we will appoint the, uh, the paymaster as the Department of Defense through the United States government, through the Commander-in-Chief and so what we're going to do is with the Trump administration, or whether you follow other uh, aspects of the, the Trump administration agenda, whether that's Q, whether that's any other organization, uh, what we're going to say to them finally is either take a piss or get off the pot. If the people want action, then they should demand it and accede to it. That's what we want to deliver. It's no good keeping on saying, jam tomorrow, this is all for the future, this will come, this will happen. We are going to make it happen, we need you to help us make it happen. So that's, as I say, an update on the talk of a reset, a global change in the financial economy, a global change in economics, and a jubilee on world debt, which must come eventually because the levels of debt are unpayable. So, thank you for listening. If you like this video, as I'm sure you, you have to, then please hit the like button, press the subscribe button, circulate it and pass it on to your friends. Because this is what we need now. We are asking nothing from you, particularly the people in the United States. We are asking nothing from you other than for you to register your interest. And to register that interest, Peter at wearebank.co.uk will do that for you. Thank you. Stay tuned. More videos to come.